Initial setup for the Bulldog Centaur wheel clamp. Make up each arm and arm return to the width of the tyre. Only insert one M8 by 12 mil button head screw at this point. You may have to finally adjust the width of one or more arm on the final assembly. Please note, fit the remaining screws in each arm only after the clamp has been fitted and removed. Step 3. Assembling the arms. Position the first arm at the left bottom, followed by the second arm right bottom. Finally the third arm which goes over the top. Place in position the spring washer. Make sure the spring washer fits this way up. Push the square head of the M12 by 40mm coach bolt into the round disc until the dome head touches the disc. Tap with a hammer if it's a tight fit. Step 4. Fitting the nut bolts. Remove the hollow nut from inside the cover plate and screw on finger tight, still allowing arms to slide freely. Please ensure that the recess on the back of the nut is located into the hole in the large spring washer. Now fit the M10 coach bolt, bushes and nuts as shown. These can be tightened by using a spanner. And fit the rubber disc to the rear of the steel disc. With the arms loosely undone, push extended clamp arm assembly around the base of the wheel as shown. With the left hand, lift the nut and disc assembly to the centre wheel. Swing around the top arm to the vertical position. Pull the right wheel clamp arm in tightly to the tyre. At this point, hold up the nut with the right hand and pull the left wheel clamp arm in as tightly to the tyre. Now hand tighten the nut. Before you tighten the nut, make sure the two bottom cutouts on the red hood align with the bottom arms. Now using the spanner provided, tighten the nut in a clockwise direction until it locks up solid. Ensure the lock bolt is in the unlocked position. Insert the key and turn a quarter of a turn anti-clockwise. Now locate the tube on the back of the red cover over the hollow nut and then turn the key a quarter of a turn clockwise to lock. Please note, to prevent the lock bolt from turning when the key is operated, press the thumb against the face of the red plastic cap. Now to unlock, insert the key, rotate a quarter of a turn anti-clockwise and remove the cover plate and reverse steps 9 back to 5 as in the instructions.